hope you guys had a wonderful day today trading the markets and oh boy well GME looks like it's trying to turn up here going for a pump uh, near the end of the day I believe the last 45 minute candle uh, but again I want to urge you guys uh, to be careful for uh, the traditional markets we may get a spike up tomorrow on PPI and CPI uh, but again it could uh, it could be a sell the news event like it was here. Uh, I think we opened a short position in the Discord and on my futures account, it only cost me uh, 45 cents to borrow like $100,000 to short. Uh, so that's usually weird because it cost me about 50 to $20 a day to hold positions overnight like that. And the last time it cost me 45 cents was when I shorted or 20 cents to 9 cents. Was when it uh, when we shorted when I shorted here, and then we had a big meltdown. So let's just be cautious. Uh, long in GameStop here, but I'll give you guys some analysis. <laughs> I know some people already are long since nineteen bucks. So congrats! Like looks like our pivot held. Uh, the buy area reacted beautifully. Uh, we filled the gap just like we wanted. So you got a good trade setup. Just to uh, know like to have those, your stops at break even. Uh, but if you're looking for some more upside, I think GameStop should do it. Unless the markets want to dump, then uh, GameStop will most likely dump with it. Uh, and if it does that, then you have another dip buy area here for a potential uh, flat scenario uh, where you would dump back down to the buy area at nineteen dollars and seventy-five cents essentially. And then you could get, and then you can get a big reversal, right? Another reversal back up. Uh, so for now, that's a, this is the count that I have if it wants to play out like this. Uh, but it's set up for more upside. Now, let's take a look at the, 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 la the larger time frames here. So the weekly time frame still looking bearish now. Uh, red money flow monthly time frame is actually bullish, funny enough. I mean, look at all this red money flow. And now we're recovering back into the green. So it took us over since 2016 all the way to 2024 to get back into the green so maybe we have more upside coming like fundamentally for uh, GameStop so that's a good thing uh, we'll take a look at the four day and the three day so three two three day actually is shaping up here looking not too bad two day also shaping up uh, daily time frame uh, looking good with some bullish dual band strength index numbers I just urge you to see that we are not in green money flow right now we are in red money flow and then so the pump uh, that we kind of got here, you got this inver inward curving VWAP. Usually you want to see an outward curving one for sustained rallies, uh, kind of like here, right? The outward curving VWAP, outward curving VWAP, and then you get a nice little rally. So if it's inward, it might uh, be saying that uh, this could break down. The four hour is actually bearish, believe it or not. You still have red money flow. You did recover a fair bit on the momentum. Uh, but I just want to show you guys that uh, it's uh, we're not we're not out of the woods. Uh, the one hour looking good. So the one hour you got a little long signal green dot on the the one hour time frame. Forty five minute uh, even lo looking even better. Tight momentum wave outward curving uh, VWAP. So maybe we don't even get this dip and it just starts to rally. But we need the markets to hold up. If the Nasdaq pumps tomorrow and gets rejected then that's that's not going to be a good uh, good time for the for the for the markets as a whole and GameStop in my opinion would be punished unless there's fundamental news driving it up uh, daily time frame nothing new no new signals need nothing on the weekly four day three day two day nothing nothing new four hour time frame nothing new one hour time frame nothing new just a couple red crosses here 45 minute uh, you actually got a nice little green cross on the 45 minute followed up by a pump 30 minute 24 minute and nothing really happening and only, only when you get on the 12 minute so the 12 minute you're seeing smart money uh, unload here at the highs and we kind of got this drop now you're seeing a bunch of green crosses up here at the lows so does that mean that we're actually going to get a, a continuation up and they're going to continue to sell into the rallies i'm not so sure i uh, just got to be patient with this one and if you are in since 19, then you're up pretty, you're up pretty nicely. You're up about 17%. So just make sure to always uh, take some profits or at least 
sit your stop at break even because uh, we're not out here to chase uh, billions and millions in one single trade. We're here to preserve capital and save as much money as you can. You can always buy a GameStop if it comes back down and stops you out. It'll probably go lower then. That means it's you'll get an even better price and you still preserve your money that you have. Okay, have a wonderful day, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.